thinking about positioning this nickel wire in the sonoluminescence reactor. So it makes sense. I mean, I've got the tech here to just do like an XY stage preloaded type thing as the wire guide so I can CNC control that through code. And then I could also feed the wire with a third axis of CNC. I already have the stuff to do that through barrel CNC. And then to view the sonoluminescent target, what I need is like an underwater camera that I could put into an NPT port, seal it up, and view the target up close, almost like a microscope. Probably lens it so I can get some high magnification of that target zone. And then I can really see what's going on there. Where I've always excelled best in R&D is when I can have data. So if, give me a spreadsheet and give me a trend and let me run something for a minute or an hour and then let me tweak something, run it again, and I will ferret out all of these little options and changes and things I could try. And eventually one of those will land on a solution. So rather than in theoretical physics, calculating a tunnel vision solution for every single thing, my approach practically as an engineer is to intelligently try stuff and follow the data to a solution. And that's where we find anomalous stuff. That's where we make novel, observations and we generate intellectual property, although that's not the goal of this project because it's open source. That's sort of how I operate in R&D land. Maybe that gives some more light on the approach here and why it sounds so willy-nilly and open-ended.